forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, not everything is set in stone quite yet, but we are starting to narrow it down a little bit. Even at this hour, there's good indication that we could be looking at a tropical depression by the time you wake up early tomorrow morning. Obviously, we're starting to see a little bit more in the way of organization out there. You can see it on the satellite and radar picture. Tropical depression by morning time heading into the afternoon and evening hours on Thursday. Tropical storm quickly and rapidly intensifying here as it gets across those warm waters. Upper level support all in place up to a category one storm with wind sustained at 75 miles per hour heading into very late on Friday and then making its way inland probably by the time we get in very early on Saturday at this point. So it's kind of sped up a little bit versus what previous runs were showing. The track has also shifted a little bit further towards the east and notice that cone of uncertainty. It is now starting to shrink at this point, but a category one storm. We sit right here. Obviously, that is probably the worst case scenario for us. Heavy, heavy rainfall and those strongest winds will sit in that northeastern quadrant as we continue to drive through. So there is that potential that we could see some winds up to about 75, maybe 80 miles per hour. Again, some gusts going through the area before it quickly downgrades to a tropical storm and then drives through the state. And that's good. We want it to move. We don't want it to sit, spin and dump a bunch of heavy rainfall out there. We've got some pretty incredible precipitous water valleys, and that's the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, almost record amounts at this point. And if all that comes out of the clouds, well, that will produce some flash flooding here at the surface. So looking at your wide shot here again, still a lot of neutral points out there at this point, but notice that spread still kind of pushing it back and forth, but it is starting to look a little bit better and better with every run at this point, driving right through the Atchafalaya Basin at this point, right towards Lafayette. Obviously, we fall on the bad end of the storm here. A lot of those rain bands extend back into the Gulf of Mexico. This is the European model. Even through late Sunday going into Monday at this point, watch the American model little bit weaker. Let's hope for this case, but still seeing some potential heavy rainfall driving through Baton Rouge, New Orleans and everywhere in between. That also looks like we're going to see some of those feeder bands extending back into our area until Monday. And as you notice, other models are finally starting to jump on board with this. You see it starting to drive a little bit further north and northwest at this point, even with our local model out there starting to take that same path. Once you start to get that idea where that central point is going to be, all these models are going to start to agree. Now we just got to work on intensity and how far out those tropical storm and hurricane force winds are going to start to get along with the possibility of that storm surge. Obviously get a better indication as we continue to move forward. Flash flood watch in place through Sunday at this point for much of the viewing area, mainly because well, there's this potential 6 to 12 inches of rainfall. That's the average locally. We could see some higher amounts out there and that is definitely going to be the concern moving forward. We sit under a hurricane watch from Cameron Paris all the way to the mouth of the Mississippi. They issue that when most likely we'll start to see some tropical storm and hurricane force conditions within the next 48 hours. Tropical storm watch a little bit further to the east at this point. And as you see here, the likelihood that we could see some hurricane force winds pretty high at this point if it follows that current track. I also want to point out that we sit under a storm surge watch at this point, and that extends from Mississippi almost all the way to the Louisiana border at this point. Waves now not that that bad in the two to three category. Uh, notice no warnings across the area. That is good. However, it was pretty busy and active starting out early this morning with that flash flooding in New Orleans. We had a couple strong storms here in the capital area. We're getting a current break, but there still is that potential that we could see some more rain tonight and as we head into the daytime hours of tomorrow. So scattered showers will start out on Thursday. Expect some heavy downpours at times. Notice going into 88 Friday, Saturday, obviously cooler because of the rainfall and that potential was soon to be tropical storm Barry at this point. And then it looks like we're going to continue to have to deal with that rainfall right now until early next week. I don't think we see the sunshine now, maybe until late on Monday going into Tuesday at this point. So it's going to slowly start to add up again. We're not going to get everything at once. I had a viewer ask me, well, I thought we were supposed to get like 20. Well, that's today four inches and then it could start to slowly add up. We get four every day. Well, Think about that. So you're talking 16 to 20 inches right there. So uh, have to watch where those bands start to set up. Inland flash flooding is obviously going to be our biggest concern here, but we could be seeing some strong winds. And if we start to get some of that heavy rainfall early on, well, the ground gets saturated and it doesn't take right. much. If you get 70 mile an hour winds, you can topple trees and we could see a bunch of power outages. Yeah, we don't want to see that.
think. Especially at this time of year. Mm -hmm. All big goods, things yeah. could change a little bit, but they're starting to narrow down that forecast, so stay alert. Okay. Cone of uncertainty. All right. Uh, of course, we're still going to stay on top of this system no matter what happens, and we're going to work to bring all those updates to you. Tomorrow, we're having live coverage here on NBC Local 33 at 1230 in the afternoon. We'll stream the governor's news conference at that time. He's scheduled to give updates on local and state officials preparing for what's expected to become a hurricane. We'll also update you on the storm's track and progress because there's going to be some updates before that time. You can watch it all on our website and also on the BR Proud app. Sports is next.